Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to interface 16 cross 2 LCD in 4 bit data mode with the microcontroller STM32F446RE with the help of Nucleo F446RE development board. Let's get started. So as the first step, let us discuss the schematic diagram that we are going to build for interfacing 16 cross 2 LCD in 4 bit data mode with our microcontroller STM32F446RE. Pins like this. So this is the required pinouts that we are going to make. So as usual, we are just going to connect the first pin of the LCD to ground of the nuclear development board. Second pin VD to 3.3 volt pin of the nuclear development board. That is we are just powering up the LCD with the help of the same power from nuclear nuclear of W46RE development board and VEE pin of the LCD is connected to 10 kilohms variable resistor like this which is useful for varying the contrast of the font in the LCD display and regarding the last two pins 15th pin is anode pin of the backlight and 16th pin is the cathode of the backlight and we are just going to connect this anode pin to the 3.3 pin of the nuclear development board with the help of 1 kilo ohms resistor if you want further brightness just reduce the resistance value and regarding the cathode pin i am just going to connect it to ground of the nuclear development board and regarding the pin configuration you can clearly see i am just going to connect rs rw and enable pin to the pb6 pa7 and pa6 of the microcontroller and regarding the data lines of the lcd you can clearly see i am just neglecting the LSB data lines D0 to D3 and I am only utilizing data lines that is D4 to D7 that is only the MSB data lines and regarding D4 I am just connecting it to PB10, D5 is connected to PA8, D6 is connected to PA9 and D7 is connected to PC7. So that's all about the pinouts that we are going to connect to the microcontroller and we are just neglecting the data lines D0 to D3 and that is why it is called interfacing the LCD in 4 bit data mode. So whatever the data that you are sending or passing to the LCD through this data lines, we are just going to pass it twice. Once we will be sending the MSP data, MSP 4 bits of data and for the next time we will be sending the LSP data elements. So in this manner we will be using these 4 data lines only. So if you take a closer look at the 8-bit data interface, we just did this, we just built this circuit in the previous video, previous one of our video and we just interfaced the same LCD in 8-bit mode. But this time we are just neglecting this D0 to D3 pins and we are going to interface the same LCD. But this time we are just reducing the number of pins which is connected to LCD by interfacing it in 4-bit data mode. So this is the schematic diagram that we are going to build in breadboard. And now let us try to configure the microcontroller in STM Cubamex software. So now that I hope you understood the schematic diagram that we are going to build for interfacing the same LCD in 4-bit mode. And this one is a schematic that we built for interfacing the same microcontroller, same LCD in 8-bit mode. And this is the circuit that we are going to build in this lecture for interfacing the same LCD in 4-bit mode. So you can clearly see these two schematic diagrams, we are only neglecting the D0, D1, D2, D3 that is PA10, PB3, PB5, PB4 pins from that 8-bit interface lecture. You can see only these four lines are missing and other than that we are not changing anything else in this GPIO pins. Only the difference is we are just neglecting the four data lines, four LSP data lines D0 to D3 in the LCD. So as per the schematic, these are the pinout diagram details. D4 of the LCD will be connected to PB10, D5 will be connected to PA8, D6 will be connected to PA9, D7 will be connected to PC7, Enable will be connected to PA6, RW will be connected to PA7, RS will be connected to PB6 of the microcontroller. So since this connection is not varying from the previous uh, video circuit that is interfacing of uh, same LCD in 8-bit mode circuit we are just going to take that program that we wrote in that lecture and we are going to alter that program for uh, interfacing the same LCD in 4-bit mode. 
so that is what we are going to do we are not going to write the program from scratch we are just going to continue from the previous program that is the previous video program in which we interfaced the same lcd in 8 bit data mode with the same microcontroller so there we wrote this particular program and in this particular program you can clearly see we wrote several functions such as lcd initialize lcd string lcd command and lcd data i explained each and every nook and corner of all the functions function definitions and declaration written in this particular program in the previous video so in this video we are just going to alter this program for supporting the 4-bit data mode of the lcd that's it so the first and foremost thing let's take the print data function since we are going to utilize only the msp data lines from the schematic explanation we are just going to delete rest of the lsp data lines uh, compatible lines so i am just going to delete these four uh, conditions we don't want the lsb data lines since we are passing only data through msp four bits of the data lines of the lcd and coming to the next function that is uh, lcd data so let's try to understand this uh, function with an example So assume that we are just going to pass a character like this with the help of this uh, function lcd data of uh, character 2. So this character 2 is nothing but in hexadecimal you can represent it as 0x32. So this is the 8 bit hexadecimal representation of ASCII character 2. So when you are trying to pass this data 0x32 as per the configuration available right over here the whole data will be passed directly but since we removed the lsp data lines from the print data function only the msp data lines of the lcd will receive the byte and lsp data lines will be skipped so we just want to follow the same procedure again for passing the lsp data lines in the sequential manner inside the lcd data function that is the main motto you can clearly see when i pass or call this function like this what happens is this 3 will be directly passed through 4 5 6 7 bits of the lcd and this 2 will be neglected so for passing this 2 through the msb data lines what we want to do is we just want to move this particular lsp 4 bits of data to the msp of the byte and then we want to pass to the print data function so this particular uh, piece of code right over here will help us to pass the msp data lines to the print data function and uh, we are just going to follow the same methodology and we are going to pass the lsb of the byte so here i just want to move this particular data that is available in the lsb of the byte to the msb of the byte so for that what i can do is i can write like data left shifted by 4 so now you can see clearly this particular sequence will pass the 3 right over here which is available in the msb of the byte through the msb data lines of the lcd and after this particular sequence this particular sequence follows so this particular sequence will move the data that is available in the lsb of the byte lsb 4 bits of the byte to msp 4 bits of the byte and then we will pass the same data through the msb data lines of the lcd so this is how we can interface uh, lcd in 4 bit data mode we are splitting the 8 bit data into 244 4 bits and we are utilizing the same 4 bit uh, data lines for passing both of them similarly i am just going to perform the same for uh, this thing also command function also let's shift it by 4 and regarding the initialization function for initializing the uh, lcd with 16 column 2 rows in 4 bit mode we just want to provide the command 28 instead of 38 now i am just going to compile this program 
So output of the program is same as the output that we got in the interfacing of same LCD in 8 bit mode that is we will get embedded system printed in the LCD. Embedded will be printed from first row first column of the LCD and system should be printed from second row first column of the LCD. Then I am just compiling this program. You can see 0 errors and 0 warnings. So now I am just going to check the target board. Click on options for target, debug. Select the ST-Link debugger settings. You can see the ID code is available. Okay. And in the output, make sure you create the hex file. Just click on this create hex file and click on OK. Now I am just uh, dumping the flash. I have uh, already connected my nuclear development board to my PC. The program has been successfully dumped to the microcontroller in my nuclear development board. And uh, now let us uh, build the schematic circuit in the breadboard and then we will try to visualize the output in the hardware and finally you can see this is the output which i got in my hardware so this is the same circuit that i have built in the previous lecture of interfacing this 16 cross 2 alpha numeric lcd display with our microcontroller stm32 f446 re in 8 bit mode and now you can clearly see i have removed four data lines that is d0 d1 d2 and d3 here i'm just going to remove these four data lines i don't require it and now we have successfully interfaced the same 16 cross 2 alpha numeric lcd in 4 bit mode with our microcontroller stm32 f446 re so in this video i hope you learned some uh, code development for device driver of uh, 16 cross 2 lcd in 4 bit data mode with the help of uh, stm32 f446 re microcontroller see you in the next video thanks for watching